All right. So we're yeah, we're let's call this finished. to order. Welcome. Oh, Hi. Um, we have a, got to have our update and meet with yeah. Henry Andrew and the list director. So let's do that. Okay. There's been a lot of changes, of sure. course. Um, I've implemented putting some other people in, not necessarily charge, but there's new changes. Damien's still taking care of maintenance for all of us. Randy Bates stepped up now and is helping with orientating okay. him. Paramedics and EMTs. Um, I have Sarah and Brandy um, that have been helping me with spreadsheets to, you know, keep everything going, showing what we spent um, on the ambulance each month. Um, those are kind of things. Um, of course, everybody knows we have a new ambulance now. There is some issues with it. Radio was put in by electronic apps a couple weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, I think. Um, Damien and I took it up there and had it put in. Um, from what I understand, staff say that it's not accelerating like it should. So it is going into service on the 8th, which is Wednesday. And is that at Fessler's? Yes, it'll be at Fessler's on the 8th for regular service. And then while it's there, I'll have them, we'll have them take a look at that um, as well. Um, hey, the, Judy, can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. The gentleman that we bought the ambulance from, yeah. is he responsible for anything? Just the box. Just, yeah, I think. Just the box, and there's there's things that are missing from the ambulance that the we're still trying to deal with. Just the box. Yeah. So like there was a bracket that was missing for the suction can canister that all ambulances come with for the um, main one, and right. the the O2 tank we had to buy a special one because it was smaller in height than what normal ones have. We can move that bracket, but it means. Uh -huh. to, big, huge steel plate, and we can't do that. Um, it was mentioned, missing some of the padding on one of the bench seats. Um, it was supposed to come with an ambulance, uh, with a refrigerator. Excuse me one second. Yeah. Whoever's owner on Zoom, you're not muted, so please mute yourself because we can hear you. Okay, continue. Um, like I said, it was supposed to come with a refrigerator. There's no refrigerator in it to keep our drugs. However, we have worked out with the pharmacy that the drugs that do need to be stored can go out 45 days without being refrigerated. And every 45 days, if we don't use them, we have to switch them out. Um, so that kind of helps a little bit. Um, I did talk to Jerry Putman, lock mm -hmm. doctor this weekend. Mm -hmm. He said he's shooting for the need to be completed with those locks. Um, there will be, there is key card access I will be getting one to the law center just in case they need to come in for any reason and probably one here at the auditor's office in case somebody needs to go. All the employees will have assigned cards that I would have access to. And once they leave, they get deactivated. So if they ever get terminated or choose to resign, then their cards instantly <laughs> so we can't get back in the building. Um, I have already changed the drug pharmacy certificate that we have to have with the base to show my name on it instead of Brian's. Um, I'm still working on getting like the bank account, the NPI, and all of that stuff switched over. I'm um, working with the billing company directly on that. Um, so back up, say that again. Let's start. Working. The CSA drug no, no, certificate. When you look at <laughs> yeah, the NPI number. It has to be switched from Brian's name to mine. Okay. Um, and we're working with the billing company on trying to get that done. Um, going, changing, taking his name off the bank account. Those are things that are still in progress that we're getting to slowly. Um, so I got to get with Jacob Dodds to get all that stuff changed. I had people worked at UCI that he was going to send me. I don't receive that yet. Um, So then on top of that, besides working with the billing company, I see that you, I gave you all a printout of what has been built out so far and what the total amount is for all insurance, patient bills, Medicare, Medicaid, though that total there is before the contractual agreement, meaning that whatever Medicare, Medicaid pay, there's a contractual agreement, that is the amount before they pay. So that's, that's what we've built. That's our agreement with them. 
whatever, you know, Medicare only pays a certain amount, Medicaid is the same thing. Um, the 121 to 180 days Lee had asked about, that top one that says bill patient, those are collection, the collection status. As of right now, there are a few of them that are not, and I'm working directly with Cheyenne at the billing company to find out why they're not already at the collection status, because these are ones that are clear back in like November, December, that should be their patient refusal. Um, the 49,000, that's the insurance one. I'm still working directly with Cheyenne on that one. There are a couple of them that are in collection status. However, the other ones are all the ones that are pretty much before our Medicare and Medicaid was approved back on December 13th of 23. Um, we have three times that we can con you know, appeal our denial with Medicare and Medicaid. We've gotten one denial so far. Cheyenne is working again to figure out, to resubmit it and find out why they're denying it because from what I understand, when Brian started this, when he talked to Medicare, Medicaid, it was a year out that they would backdate. Mm -hmm. We're still trying to find out. Cheyenne wasn't sure if it was that far out. It would. She was thinking possibly six to three months, but she's working very diligently to get that taken care of. So that's what that $42,000, $49,000 amount is there. Um, already so far this month, just in the last few days we've had like seven thousand dollars that was just deposited i think mark just took out 11 grand and left the bank account still at five thousand um we're getting less and less checks that are coming directly to us from insurance company companies so i don't have to like take checks over there but well mark blue cross blue shield it just depends on what their their um, agreement is with their patients whether the check comes to us or gets directly deposited but I've been watching that mailbox every day to make sure we get those payments over there as quickly as we can. Um, we have the new system EMS one for everybody to do updates for like their CEUs, continuing education, um, besides the ones that they regularly have to have the ACLS PALS, um, CPR, the ones that they have to have those are each ways. year or every two years, these are extra hours that they can use to help research them. They have to have, I think it's what, 60 for paramedics and 24. 24 for EMTs every two years. So this helps them get that. And with this system that we chose to go with, it'll directly take whatever they do, or classes they do, and it'll automatically attach it to their um, national registry. So they don't have to keep a folder. It automatically calculates the hours and keeps track of it for them. So you got that. Um, I'm still working on the bloodborne pathogen um, generalization guide for the safety board. It's still in draft form. Um, Brian turned that over to me and I'm trying to work on that as well. I have two new hires. One started the 29th. That was Kyle. He's on truck right now on a transfer. He's a paramedic. And Chance Crandall will be starting his first orientation shift on the 10th, which is Friday. I came into the office today and I have two more paramedics that have applied. One of them is from out of state, Pennsylvania, I think, or Philadelphia. She's moved here with her husband. Um, she was waiting to get her license moved to the Iowa side. She was not registered in Iowa. She was nationally, but she was not Iowa certified. So she finally got that done and sent all that stuff through to me. Um, still working on like evaluations, six months out, evaluations for employees. Um, God, I don't know, probably half of them done, maybe. <laughs> That's a lot of work. It is, yep. I wanna back up for a second yep. on the new hires and then mm -hmm. the to have applied, mm -hmm. uh, you have to send them to the hospital for physical evaluation. Both of them that are already on here for orientation, they've already passed all of their physicals and everything. Yeah. These other ones, they've just applied. I have not even started to <coughs> look at everything okay. on them yet. Like I said, I just came into the office this morning. Yeah. Those two. So um, we did do hometown ho hero photos. Everybody, pretty much everybody was there. There was just a few that were not. We helped the fire department in the last couple of weeks with their smokehouse. We went and I had a couple of my crews go and do the 4-H club kids and do a presentation with the ambulance there. 
Um, got two grants that I have wrote and sent to Apex mm -hmm. for a couple more handhelds and a couple more pagers. How much do you need for that? Oh, oh I think it's like I think it's like three thousand for the handhelds, and I'm not so sure. Probably fifteen hundred for fifteen pagers. for the pagers. I think I it, I didn't bring that paper with me. That's fine. I don't always remember all this. Just wanted a ballpark. Yeah, that's no. close. So I want to go back up the top. Or just yeah, sure. Yeah. I'm going really fast. Oh, no, that's all right. I don't. Did I? Has there been? Has the radio issue been resolved? Has any rate? As far as I know, it has. I haven't heard anything. Last time I ran out of the loop truck, we didn't have a bit of problem with the reactor. I knew dispatch said it was static. I haven't heard I haven't heard, I haven't heard anything from dispatch since that one time, and I think it okay. was taken care of, I think. We're not really using it very often because of the fact that it's having issues right now, so we want to get it checked before. Can I add one thing to that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. With the box also on the truck, only one half of the vents in the back are blowing any kind of air. Oh, yeah. And only the point of one half. The other half's nothing. So, so has Kevin been contacted? We have reached out and I've not gotten anything back. I may have. Somebody sent a letter. That might be nice. <coughs> so, um, then I had Ben Godwin. He came out um, on Friday, I think it was. Because we've been having problems with the lights in the building, they've been mm -hmm. flickering off and on, computers have been flipping off. Um, Alliant Energy was out there as well. I guess there was a leakage between Alliant Energy and the building. As of right now, I think it's been fixed. That being a single show we're having here. They found some some kind of breakage is what Alliant Energy told me. On their end, they think they got it fixed. Um, I'm just having crews continue to watch because I know 51's breaker was always being tripped. Doesn't mm -hmm. look like it's tripped all weekend. I went in there today with Ben and the breaker was still on. So I'm assuming it's okay, but we're gonna keep watching it just in mm -hmm. case something happens. Otherwise, um, Susie, would that be something Steve Burton should be called yeah. about? Yeah. yeah. So um, I'm also working on some upcoming events. Eldon Races um, in Wapolo County has reached out to me. I know we've done this in the past with other services. Um, like I said, it's just word of mouth. They've always dealt with myself and my crew. Um, they're wanting us to cover the Elden races and the fair. Um, I quoted them a rate of $125 an hour for one ambulance with one paramedic and one EMT, which at all cost, I will have it covered by myself and a PRN staff. So it will not accrue overtime. This is pure profit for us. Um, they have agreed to that. I just need to write something up and get with Chauncey mm -hmm. to get it approved. Cronky Tonk races right outside of town, dirt bike, motocross races. I know last year, Care Ambulance did it. He reached out to me earlier, a couple months ago, and asked if we would do it again. <clears throat> he asked for Randy Bates, myself, and Damien, and a couple others to be out there um, to cover it. And I quoted him $100 per hour. It's an ambulance that has to stay there the whole entire time. So it would be like a third unit. If for any reason somebody needs to be transported, we'll call a crew from here. It's like, <clears throat> what, six or seven miles. It's off of Glasgow yeah. Road out there. So, well, that way they don't have to shut down or anything <clears throat> like that. It is mandated that they have somebody out there. Um, of course, we have a county fair coming up that will make sure, I'll make sure both rigs are out there like we always have in the past um, to help out with the groups there. Um, I know Tanner Dio has a racing track out there as well. Um, he did have, was supposed to have practices this weekend, but it rained, so he didn't. But we usually don't go out there for that, but um, we usually just sit out there and help out. You know, it's close enough. It's on the fairground, so we don't really worry about that. Um, I've handled a couple of issues with Jack in HR yeah. with staff. Um, three different staff members already. Um, other than that... Um, I guess my biggest thing is if anybody needs to know anything or they want to come out, talk to us, come look, come observe, come watch. Our doors are always open, you know, except for after like six o'clock, we lock the one door so nobody can get in in case we leave. But, um, so yeah. So you're working truck all these dates? Yep. Those dates on there are the dates that I am scheduled right now to work truck to try to eliminate some overtime. Yeah. That, those are usually 12 hours increments. I'm going to try to do it during the day. 
it may be nighttime. I don't know. I was just on truck twice last week overnight. Mm -hmm. um, Thursday night, I worked all day in the office, worked truck, and then was in the office until Friday afternoon sometime. But yeah, that's me. Thanks. Do you guys need to know anything else? Any okay. questions? So it's kind of quick and fast, I guess. Mm -hmm. Did I miss anything? Do I have a question? Yes. Yeah. Whenever you have a truck down to Elvin, do you still have? We would two, still have two. Do you still mm -hmm. have two here? Yeah. Yes. If you're out to Boston <clears throat> somewhere, that's close enough. You probably don't need two, or do you he, still do that? We he just wants one out there at all times, so this way it'd be the third unit that would go out there. So the nine one one and the transfers could still be covered. It would not be interrupting anything out there. He has to have somebody there at all times, or they have to shut down the races. And it's a state law. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. yep. Yes, anything that we cover will always be like a third unit. We'll still have two rigs that can do 911 and transfers, so it won't interrupt anything in the community here. It's just a way of making extra revenue and getting us out there. And Appreciate that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It sounds like you've got a lot of balls <laughs> in the air. Yeah, a lot of work, a lot of hours. So we um, updated the job description this morning. Abby's working on putting it together in another rough draft. And we're going to try to get that approved so we can post the position. So that's what we're going to do. Um, anything else? No. Anything? As far as performance appraisal, you haven't been in an interim position long enough to do anything. I wanted the opportunity because we haven't met with you all together. So if anybody had anything that they wanted to discuss um, or if you had anything for us, um, that's totally... This is where I can ask to go into a closed session. session. If you would like to meet with us. Yeah, can I do yeah. that? Okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. the employee request, yeah. yeah. Okay, we have an employee request um, to go in a closed session, performance review. Of interim ambulance service director, possible closed session 21.5, one, one, parent one, parent I. Do we have a motion to do that? So moved. Do we have a second? Second. Any discussion? I think we need a roll call, right, Abby? Yes. Lee? Yes. Susie? Oh, yeah. E? Yes. Okay. We will go into closed session. We have the recording. <laughs> All right. We'll get okay. Can I have my staff members stay in for just the first part of it, please? If that's okay. If you'd like, it's that's okay. Yeah. Yep. I think they need to be here. They have to talk. <laughs> 